Hey y'all, Dekamon here, and welcome back to Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Last time, Shinji got in a robot. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, it's 621 got in a robot, which, uh, oh, by the way, uh, kind of a side note, don't Google that number at work. It will end badly for you. <laughs> uh, speaking of things that ended badly, I did attempt to use an anime opening as my end card, and got immediately flagged for it. Seriously, in a 50 minute video, and I get flagged for 20 seconds of audio. It's beyond me sometimes what YouTube will do. It's just silly, but I unfortunately had to go fishing through the Rubicon thing and find something listenable to. I'm sorry, there's just not much to listen to in this one. It's just not the greatest soundtrack at the moment. I mean, maybe there'll be some better songs down the road, but from the first couple that I heard, I'm not that impressed. <sighs> but we're here on Rubicon 3. We've stolen a dead mercenary's license because, you know, Walter and 621 are illegal. We've taken the name Raven. Cool. And now it's time to head back out into the world to continue doing these missions, such as they are. So the next one, destroy artillery installations. I see all of these are going to have little briefings, aren't they? Got a job for you, 621. This is an open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Hmm. Attention all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dafung. Oh shit, uh... We just went up against them by mistake. ...has deployed Baos artillery throughout the contaminated city. The city itself has no strategic value, we cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery! Oh, those are those six... Those... Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! <laughs> it's funny because I just went up against you guys for a different corporation. Huh. Uh, also, nobody's bothered to tell me what MT stands for, which is a little bothersome. Like, AC I was able to figure out because it's the name of the game. But MT's a little odd. Hmm. I have no idea. Anyway, that's salty. And yes, sortie basically means to go out. Who does this job? As long as it gets done. Oh, it'll get done, believe me. Main system, activating combat mode. Hey, you know, finding good screenshots for this series is gonna be a right pain in the arse. Destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Front's artillery placements. Yes, you do. <laughs> all right. See, as long as I can keep moving, I should be all right. Give me a quick scan to see if I tag anything. No. Oh. Not bad. And I do notice that this is actually the same terrain as earlier. Like, it's the same map. Which, odd, interesting. I wonder if that's going to be a running thing where we just use the same maps over and over again for our missions. It's a little sad if that's the case. I suppose that means they can make the maps a lot more detailed like they do with this one. There. That's one of the artillery placements. Ah, I see it, I see it. The front is protected with armor plating. Attack it from behind. Deploy for combat. Destroy that AC. There's only one of them. We can do this. Can you? I don't think you can. Takes care of those two. We're clear here. Move on to the next site. Hold on, I got a couple of freaking MTs here to deal with. All right. And these, these small fry are basically MTs. If it was an AC, well, it'd be a lot tougher. <laughs> I'm guessing the MTs are like the mass-produced versions, and the ACs are like the custom aces. That's what it seems to be. Like these guys go down way too easy. You're up against mass-produced MTs. Eliminate them as necessary. Enemy attack! They're after the artillery. Fight back! Hmm. Thought I saw 
someone else over here. Man, I am hauling that ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need a way to drop fast. That's gonna be a trick. I don't have that. Well, then we got a problem. Scare that one. Just that one. And these things do not turn around fast. Ah, gotta reload. To the final site. Keep up the good work. These guys are not that really troublesome to deal with. I keep scanning in the hope I'm actually gonna find something worth scanning for. So far, nothing. Artillery shots are the snipers. Yeah, I'm trying. Hang on, I gotta get around this thing. There we go. So I can get around these guys, then they're no longer a threat. Should have been a solid hit, but it wasn't. I'm out of juice. Come on, hit him. Oh, freaking reload. Hello. left to deal with. Hello. Good night. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Hang on, I got one more MT I can deal with. Oh, my weapon's all turned off because the mission's over. That's a little disappointing. That was in bad money, 155. And now that we've cleared all the active missions, I should get something new. Oh shoot, I forgot to change the audio. Give me a second on that. Registration number RB23, call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. You have also been granted access to participate in the Log Hunt program. Hmm? We kindly request that you submit combat logs after destroying designated craft. Allmind will reward you with parts based on the number of submissions you provide. Oh, more parts. I always like more parts. Log Hunt. Access granted Log Hunt. You've been invited to enjoy Log Hunt, one of Allmind's mercenary support programs. Discover and destroy targets marked with the Log Hunt target icon to obtain combat logs for submission. Collect combat logs and improve your hunter class to receive reward parts. Uh, awesome. 
Awesome, awesome. Uh, give me half a second here. I wanted to change one important thing on this, and that is we are drastically going to reduce the sound of the sound effects. Um, and then we're going to up the voices to the max. If we do this, actually. Bump these down just a hair more. Hopefully this will make the voices sound out a, a bit more from the rest of the game, because they are so quiet. They're just so damn quiet. Uh, huh. I have new missions then? Yes, I do. Destroy transport helicopters. Uh, 80k. Destroy all the root RLF logistics helicopters. Extra rewards based on number of enemies. And 95k. Destroy the Daffin Core Industries tester AC. Oh. I have to destroy an enemy AC for that one. Oh, helicopters first. Got a job for you, 62. That's a little better. The Balaam Group sent a request. Raven, this request comes from Dalfa, one of our affiliates. The group has committed to use of military force to handle the Rubicon Liberation Front. The target for this mission is a squad of transport choppers. Destroy them. Okay. Encounter guerrilla resistance from Baus mass produced MTs. They're no great concern. You performed adequately in your last sortie, Raven. This did not go unnoticed. <laughs> we will be watching with interest to see what you bring to the team. <laughs> I've been noticed. Well, that's not bad. Uh, we're going to keep the same AC. I haven't seen a real reason to change just yet. Asking for you by name. Hey, not bad. Keep building your rep. <sighs> I gotta get used to the fact that left bumper is my shield. That's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm still kind of getting used to the controls in general. Main system activating combat mode. Oh my gosh. Nobody close by. Liberation front transport choppers. We're under attack. It's a corporate merc. Intercept. Keep them off the supplies. Confirmed. Transport chopper down. takes care of that one. Keep at it, 62. What else we got? Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I thought I'd missed all. I thought I'd gotten all of you. There, take it out. Last dial AC. Defend our supply. Oh, hey, shield. Our comrades on the Strider can't wait any longer. On the Strider? Dang it! He's got too far away. Confirmed. Target destroyed. On to the next targets. Hmm? What's that? Look, man, if something's gonna shoot at me, I'm gonna shoot it at. That's how this is gonna work. There we are. Gotta stop for half a second so my bar recharges there. Interesting that that I, the range on this is not the great. Hello. We're no match for an AC. Have no fear. The coral is with us. Looks uh, like I got a Baus tetrapod. It's a cut above the other MTs. Ignore it and focus on the mission. Oh, but where's the fun in that? Besides, it's got one of the log hunt symbols on it. I can't ignore it. AP at 30%. Oh boy. Two repair kits remaining. Okay. AP at 50%. I'm 
Boy's no slouch here. Stop. Stop. God dang it. Stop, man. AP at 50%. Problem is, my target doesn't want to stick to this guy. You are no slouch, good sir. got him you're a natural at this 61 not really he he took a lot out of me wow i just went right over that right hand i mean looks like you got them all <sighs> that's it for this job 621 well that could have gone nice. worse but it could have gone a lot better at least i got the tetrapod Oof. I gotta use my shield more. That's uh, not terrible. My repair costs were a little higher than I would have liked. But the bonus covered A. Hey. Blue marker. One new message. Yes, all mind. I assume that's you again. Oh. I see your back, 621. Oh, it's not, it's Walter. The corpse see the Liberation Front as a hindrance to expanding their coral survey. But to the Rubiconians, your actions are only helping the corpse with their invasion. It's just a job, 621. All of it. <sighs> Lucky us, it's just a job. Hmm. Well, I've got a nice chunk of pay. Maybe I can get myself a new gun or two here. What do we got? A uh, burst rifle, that's... it's not bad. Attack power is significantly better than what I had. Not sure if I like that one yet, though. That's a handgun. What is it? That's a Zooka. I wish this would show me the rapid fire. Seriously, show me the frickin' rap- I might as well take it. Uh, I really want... A nice new set of legs, but them's is not cheap. Hmm. I would drastically reduce my weight load, but I would be hauling ass, but at the same time I'd lose a decent amount of health out of that. Uh, those aren't bad. Those aren't bad at all. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to do some saving up here, clearly. Or, you know, me going to replay a lot of old missions, which is always something I can do off screen. Uh, let me swap on that new gun here. Let me see. That's just a standard rapid fire. That's the linear rifle we picked up earlier. This is a burst rifle. Let's try this out. Uh huh. There is an AC test over here. Let's uh, let's try this. I want to. I just want to see how this gun performs. Use the AC test to test the functionality and behavior. It's basically just training mode. Wow, this thing's slow. Yeah, we... I am not a big fan of this. Like, it's basically a sniper rifle, which, you know, not bad. But no. Thank you, though. Alright, let's do this other mission. Destroy the Tester AC. Hopefully I can do this without as much headache as the Tetrapod was. Got a job for you, 621. It's an open call from the Archibus group. To all 
independent mercenaries. This request comes from Schneider of the Archivist Group. Dafung, one of our adversaries allied with Balaam, has introduced a new tester AC. Damn. It's a sample model from an external architect, featuring extensive assembly optimizations. In the hands of an experienced pilot, it will pose a threat far too great to ignore. This brings me to the request. Intercept delivery of the tester AC and destroy it. Can I steal it instead? This group looks forward to news of your success. Or at least harvest it for parts? <laughs> and happy hunting. It is weird. I'm doing missions for rival corporations. Hopefully they don't notice I'm the same person. <laughs> it's not like my paint job is incredibly distinct. The target may be a product sample, but it's still an AC. Stay sharp, 621. <sighs> the way they made it sound, it was going to be in a box, but I'm pretty sure there's a pilot inside this thing. I can't get that lucky. I, I just can't get that lucky that this thing's just in a box. Main system. Activating combat mode. Back to the ruined city again. Commence mission. We've got a read on the target. Now's the time, 621. Okay. Not seeing anything yet. Oh, hello. Missiles just don't land. <sighs> there we go. Whoo, that was not easy. I just wanted to call sign of my own. The target the manual lock here does not do as well as I would hope it would. Could have gone a lot better. That was not like a good showing. My current missiles do, do not want to stay locked on very well. Oh, got another tick for that. Hmm? Well, 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 Handler Walter. The way your hound's been up in my business, I'm surprised you'd even dare to call. Michigan, about my proposal. Yeah, you sure about that? I'll be working your hound just as hard as any other red gun. Gen 4s can be emotionally withdrawn. They need a shot in the arm every now and then. Then you got a deal. I'll send Volta Iguasu. They'll give your latest hound a proper red gun welcome. Hmm. Sounds like I got a big mission coming up. One new message. Hmm. Now what? 
621. About the tester AC you downed. Yeah. That was being shipped to the Red Guns. Uh, Balaam's in-house AC squad. The one did I, the one you were just talking Balaam's to? Men force, <laughs> and its members are no amateurs. Remember who you're messing with. Dude, you're the one that gave me the mission. <laughs> Why are you making it sound like it was my bloody choice? All right, what do we got for new missions? Attack the dam complex. Accompany by friendly craft, 190k. 270k, destroy the weaponized mining ship. Oh. Uh, all right, let's go wreck a dam. These missions are getting a little more expensive. Got a job for you, 621. You're joining an operation planned by Balaam HQ. Check the briefing. Oh, I think I know this one. This was part of the previews. You through Walter, did you? Good. Sit your ass down and listen. Balaam's moving in on the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. The objective is to destroy their lifeline and make those sacks of shit beg for mercy. <laughs> I'll be sending two good for nothing maggots from the Red Guns Gun 4 Volta and Gun 5 Iguasu. AC name Headbringer. <laughs> I'm assigning you the call sign Gun 13, a lucky little number that just became available. Oh. Gun 13, sound off! Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> go get ready! <laughs> on a field trip, kiddo! That explains where I got the logo. Gun ship 13. Oh, my lucky number, is it? This should be fun. Uh, off we go. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. <laughs> Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners. Come on, man. You said I was emotionally withdrawn. Main system All right. Activating combat mode. Balaam Group AC Squad Red Guns reporting for duty. Commence mission. Attack! Get in there, you maggots! I'm getting in there. Give me half a minute. Right. An independent merge. Who's the wise guy who decided the Red Guns should be taking care of some freelancer? Who gives a shit? We'll handle this mission ourselves. Oh, that's one of ours. One target destroyed. Hey, Freelancer, but no one even told you why we're here. Nope. Well, us real red guns are gonna go climb the wall. This is just target practice. When we're done, the local's little base is next. Good five. Can't tear yourself away from chatting with a tag along. Why don't you start a sewing club together and stitch that damn mouth of yours shut? <laughs> Two targets destroyed. That's cute. That was cute. About that? Yes, you're not a total amateur. Not a total one, just a moderate Good one. Four. Can't say I considered you a pro either. We don't need backseat drivers in the red guns. Shape up or ship out. Hmm? There's somebody Six behind two. me? Eradicate the frontline MTs. Guess there was. That takes care of the frontline MTs. That was just a warm up. Look alive, maggots! Two generators to go. Keep moving, 621. Hope you're enjoying the field trip, kid. Don't wet your pants now. Oh, Does these he, guys are nothing. Does this guy ever shut up? Nope. Gun five. No luck with the sewing club, I see. That attitude won't get you far ah, away. That's smart. Pilot better than you sew. Who's shooting down there? Man, that melee's got such a long cooldown, man. An enemy the AC. Will never yield. You're going home in armored coffins. Forge 
Captain Ash, we stand as one. Hot dog, they got an AC. Uh, that's more like an old piece of junk. It's barely different from an empty. Gun four, you're not exactly cutting edge either. You want to be next on the scrap heap. Ah, two repair kits remaining. I missed my stagger, that's irritating. There we go, that got a good chunk out of him. Why be a mere pawn? Recharge. Is there in serving corporations that exist only to kill and plunder? Ammunition at fifty percent. That's fine. Whoa, there, dude. We we gotta chill out with that. We got him. Granted, I got a lot of assistance. gone worse that wasn't too bad even got to take down an enemy AC granted again I had a lot of help with that oh, I get a yellow tick this time hmm? one new message <laughs> you got lucky Merc you were the only warm body they could find. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. Wonder what the wall is that they're talking about. Hmm. Uh well, what's our other mission? The weaponized mining ship? Got a job for you, 621. He likes to lead with that, doesn't he? This one's a request from the Archibus group. Raven, this request comes from Schneider, an Archibus subsidiary. Oh, this one's personalized. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. Uh... Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Are you kidding? Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. Mm. These should be your first targets. Fair enough. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Oh boy. A giant mining ship turned into a weapon? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Yeah. Die, and no one will remember it. Main system, activating combat oh boy. mode. Mission. Anything nearby? First, get through all that dust and make contact with the Strider. I assume that's it all the way in the back there. An unidentified AC. Must be one of the corporation's dogs. Oh, hi. Activate the eye. Burn them away. Yes, sir. Coral, abide with Rubicon. Abide with Rubicon.
Oh, what the hell? That must be the eye. I'm picking up a surge of energy to the eye. Watch out, or it'll Ye burn you to ash. Yeah, I'm seeing that. I'm really seeing that. Well, damn, those missiles are flying, man. <laughs> Dude! That hurt! That took a full repair kit off of me! AP at 30%. Ow. Okay, I'm not sure how to dodge that because that thing moves way fast. What I'm trying to do right now is break the. Now you're up close and personal. Take out one of its legs and bring it to a halt. How would I need? Yeah, you're too close. I'm too close now. Prepare for close range combat. Intercept. Hang on, I gotta bring this leg down. There we go. That'll do it. Confirmed. Strider leg compromised. It's going down. The bigger they are, the harder. Oh, oh god, no. He meant it literally. The whole thing's gonna come down. <laughs> All right, now we've got a foothold to get on the deck. Grab on and get to work on the sub generators. Hang on, I gotta get my ass up here first. <sighs> gotta park my ass. Come on, recharge. Here we are. Up, 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 up. I want up. That AC pilot's no rookie. Who's shooting at me? We can't take any chances. Decouple the rear. Decouple the... They're trying to cut and run. Head to the midship 621. Don't let them go. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out who's shooting at me. Stop, 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 stop. We can't shake the enemy! Remember, we fight for the coral. Defend the subgenerators. <sighs> Whoa! No deadly laser beams, please. Subgenerator destroyed. Thank goodness, I gotta three to go. Stop for half a sec. <sighs> Dude, I do not want to be staring down that eye. That is terrifying. <sighs> if I can hit the thing from here. Sir, we've lost another subgenerator! Two to go. Yeah. Remember Hang on. the hardships that made us. Remember <sighs> that when Rubicon burns, we endure. <sighs> it's, a, it's a nice sentiment, really. All right, here we go. Oh God, the eye. And I'm out of juice again. Dude, that one up top is gonna be a bitch to get to. I can tell. We're losing the shield, sir. Just one left. The Strider is the flagship of our war. Hold Man, I wish there was a fast drop. I could really use a fast drop. AP at 50%. AP ah. at 30%. Dude, that stung. All subgenerators destroyed. The ice shield is offline. Head to the front segment and hit the target. Hang on. Now you've got the target in your sights. Time to finish this, 621. Uh. I'd like to not be quite that close, thank you. 
What the heck? Who's hitting me? Oh, he got me. That was embarrassingly sad. Well, it wouldn't be a, you know, a From Software game. I almost said Souls game. Now you've got the target in your sights. Wow, you literally just start me here? God damn, I don't know how you get around to this thing faster. Charge the cannon. Burn the coral plunderers. <sighs> There we go. Just keep it on this side like this, and I'll be... Ah! 30%. Guess not. The eye has taken significant damage. We're not through yet. Show them our pride. Uh, not good. There we go. <laughs> that actually worked. Do this. AP no response from the eye. I got it. <laughs> no, we, we can't the no, I'm pretty sure you can, and you just did. <sighs> you know, these missions are really short. Uh, we should leave. Move six to one. You need to get clear of the strider. Working on it. Uh, working on it in the wrong direction, clearly. Huh. I was heading back to back the direction I went. Moving, 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 moving. That is a long asshole. Oh. A fitting end for something built to fail. <sighs> Whoa! Yeah, I bet I would have died instantly if I was too close to that. <sighs> Holy crap. Damn, that thing was huge. Yeah, expenses were not the greatest there, unfortunately. Another radio com? You must be the handler, I presume, for the independent mercenary Raven. Honored to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. I understand you want to join Operation Wall Climber. You do realize that disposing of some Liberation Front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog-sitter. The answer is no. Wow. I hear you're deploying V-1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Oh? Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. Very well, then. We're also deploying V4. Who's been equally brazen of late? Let's see how they both perform. Hmm. That was... odd. I haven't seen V2 Snail or whatever his name is. Huh. One new message. Raven, your work on the Strider deserves commendation. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archivist Group's mercenary liaison. V8 Pater, at your service. Ah. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. Okay. So the V guys are with Archivist. Emblem acquired, Archivist Core. New exercise date. Ah. New parts available. Thank you. I needed some new parts. Uh, training first. Assembling an intermediate support one. Assembling an AC. Hmm. Oh, might as well. 
I do these trainings, I get new parts, there's no reason not to do them then. Oh. Double trigger. One way to assemble an AC is to install ranged weapons in both hands. This is known as the double trigger style among veteran pilots. Double trigger assemblies using machine guns or similar weapons can destroy enemies at a reliable pace and are suited for taking on multiple enemies at once. Oh ho ho. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Can I get some machine guns like this? The, the only problem is that I don't have the big heavy hitting melee weapon. Both my guns are reloaded. Boosters and mobility. The mobility of an AC is greatly influenced by its overall weight and the type of boosters. This AC is fitted with boosters that have a short QB reload time, which allows it to outpace enemies with consecutive quick boosts. Oh. So lightweight gives me better boosting mobility, whereas I was not caring too much about my weight and therefore was ending up probably slightly slower. Uh, generators and basic specs. The generator installed to your AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly, from the selection of usable parts to the basic performance. This AC is equipped with a generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boost, but I'm betting it's recharge sucks, right? Like, if I run this out... Eh, it's not too bad. Oh! What in the heck? Dude, that left, sh that left shoulder gun is bonkers! A rail gun? <laughs> FCE and engagement distance. Your fire control system installed to the AC affects target tracking at close, medium, and long range, and missile lock on and multi lock time. This AC is equipped with an FES that's specialized for close range combat, allowing it to reliably land attacks with high firepower weapons. Like the rail gun here, which is basically like. Oh, it's a spread fire miss. It's spread missiles. At least that's what it seemed like it was, right? Yeah, it is. It's spread missiles. That's not bad. I kind of like this. It's, a fe it's almost like a feather-like design. <laughs> uh, the weapons and selection of parts used to assemble an AC determine its ideal combat range and style. This AC is equipped with four ranged weapons to specialize in concentrated fire at medium range. Yeah, it doesn't want to be too close. But it's perfectly fine being a little further away. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> and that hit just wrecks this thing. <laughs> I kind of like this model. I wonder if they'll give me the base design for it. Oh, I got his booster. And an FCS. And a generator. Wow. Oh, you guys are just spoiling me. What's this one? We're gonna talk about the reverse joints. I mean, the last one I was piloting in that training mode was a reverse joint. This guy's got reverse joints, but he's heavy. Reverse joint and legs excel at jumping and leverage their leg strength to improve their quick boosts. These leg units are also capable of high jumps that don't consume energy, making it easier to achieve aerial retreats. Oh yeah, they do. He f oh, he's got a laser gun. This guy likes his big, heavy, slow weapons, which is interesting. It's a very different style from the machine guns. The left shoulder grenade cannon fires explosive rounds to cause area damage. When using weapons of this nature, you can exploit area damage to great effect by firing at the ground from an aerial position. <laughs> Damn! What is that? Oh, he's got like an EMP cannon! Hmm? 
Uh, weapons fall into one of three categories depending on the type of damage they inflict. Kinetic, Explosive, and Energy. The defensive performance of ACs and other craft varies for each damage type, determining their susceptibility. Oh. Ricochet. Oh, that's why it's saying ricochet when I shoot this guy. Watch. Ricochet. Ricochet. But that is a hit. That's why he's doing shit damage. Uh, energy weapons produce heat when fired and ulti ultimately result in overheating. When overheated, the weapon is disabled, but functionality will be regained once it's cooled. Avoid overheating by monitoring fire rate. Hold on. Whew. Yeah, you gotta be mounted on the ground to really fire that one, big monko. Oh, there. I am not clicking the left stick. Could you please stop? <laughs> Dude, that grenade launcher does definitely take its sweet ass time to recharge. There we go. I was actually able to just punch through the shield with a charge shot. Uh, ricochets. Ricochets will occur when enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. To counteract this, try at a closer range or switch to explosive weapons. Okay. So ricochet means I'm too far away. Or I need to hit him with something like that. The end of the training? Yes, it was. Man, they keep showing me all these awesome parts. Laser handgun. That was it? I only got a laser handgun? That's a little disappointing. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna look at the clock, and we're close to an hour. So I think this is a good spot to stop for now. I think the next mission is gonna be a big one. And I also think I want to do a little time off screen, maybe replay a mission or two, get some parts, start messing around. Maybe I can make myself a brand new AC beforehand. So if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more giant robot action. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.